Today is Saturday, December 14th, which officially marks my two-week anniversary of moving out here. Big deal, people are celebrating all over the world. I have off today and tomorrow, and then Wednesday uh, will probably be the start of my kind of official five-day work week because on Friday I did officially pass shuttle driver school, so yesterday was the first trip that I did by myself. I picked up some folks in Keystone, went down to the airport and came back up and dropped more people off at Keystone. So yeah, I'm the, I'm the real deal now. I'm a, I'm a official shuttle driver. Kids, I just want to say, if you, if you put your mind to something, you can accomplish it. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you want to go to Mars, if you want to go to Jupiter, if you want to go see the core of the Earth. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish it. If you want to be a shuttle driver, you can be a shuttle driver. Today is hopefully going to feature another hike. I'm going to head over to a town called Frisco, which is just a few miles southwest of Silverthorne. I want to do a hike over there. I'm hoping I can do the one I want to. The snow might be a little bit too deep, so it might be kind of tough. Uh, we'll see. It's only a four mile trail, but it's probably going to be the toughest one I've done so far. It's got a climb of almost 1,200 feet. There's a few inches of snow on this pathway, so I don't know if this hike is going to work out. Hopefully some people have already taken this trail the past couple days, so they've packed down some of the snow for me. 25 miles per hour? They know who I am? I hike way faster than that. I'm not obeying that traffic sign. I hike 25 miles per hour in my sleep. There's our sign. There's our sign. Here's the trail. Not packed down at all. <sighs> don't think it's gonna happen today. I actually don't think that was the trail right back there. I think I just found the trail here. And we're off. And our eventual end spot is gonna be up there. On a side note, I don't think I'm gonna do any Bear Grylls shots today. This one might be a little too steep for me to keep going back and forth all the time. Sorry guys, I know you love them. This hike definitely tops the cake so far. The hiking itself sucked. It was about 1.5 to about 1.7 miles of just pure incline. I think we rose about, I think it was like 1300 feet in elevation. So it was tough, it was really tough. I had to take a lot of breaks. Obviously I exaggerated some of the crawling and uh, whatnot, but it was really tough. It's so beautiful up here though. The only thing I don't like about it is that you can hear the freeway pretty well. And it's also pretty chilly today. I'm pretty sure I've got grade one frostbite in my feet right now. Probably grade two frostbite in my, my fingers. I don't know if those grades are real. I, I don't think that's a real thing, but you get the gist of it. I'm pretty cold, but it is so peaceful. That's all I-70 along here. So that's ground level, that's where I started. And actually, that right down there is the parking lot where the hike started. For some reason being in that gondola on Breckenridge scared me, but being up here doesn't scare me. I don't really understand my fear of heights. You can actually see some of the snow start to come in behind me right here, so I think it's probably time to get out of here. It'd be cool to be up here when it's snowing, if you could actually see, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna take my own visibility.
snow is starting to fall now. You know what that means? It's snowing. Remember when I thought that was the trail? And I almost quit and just went straight back to my car? Yikes. Big time yikes. Also, how about this little area here? These houses back in this area of Frisco are so cool. They're exactly what you think when you think of like a mountain lodge. Fortunately, they're all incredibly, incredibly expensive. I do have Venmo though. If you have any disposable income that you're uh, looking to get off your hands, maybe for tax reasons, maybe you want to give a little $10,000 write-off gift to a friend. It's just a thought. I mean, come on. Come on, how cool is that?